And now to Yobe State, where Governor Mima Laboni has commended the federal government's national agency for the Green or Great Green War for inventing a technology, grosses water bugs that would give a long life span to trees that would be planted in desert-related areas. The governor who, was, or who disclosed this at the launching of the new technology at Government House Damaturu asked residents to ensure they plant trees at the areas recaptured by the Nigerian troops from the insurgents. The DG of the agency, Yusuf Mina Bukar, who was represented by Habiba Musa Tumsa, the deputy director of the Resource Mobilization and Partnership Building Department, revealed that Gross's water box is aimed at fighting desertification and was launched across 11 northern states and the federal capital territory, Abuja, to minimize land degradation. So we came to this school today also in flagging of this day with a, a technology introduced to, to us by our passionate Director General, Dr. Yusuf uh, Maina Bukar. Uh, which is called the uh, Groasis Water Box. It's a wonderful uh, um, uh, technology. It is a, a water box that uh, can plant trees. I think it has uh, come in a very good time and uh, it's a very welcome development and we, we are sure uh, if the establishment and, and uh, the, 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 the main aim and objective to which the Great Green Wall is established is being put into practice. Yobi and Yobians will benefit much from it, inshallah. It's uh, coming at the right time uh, because uh, as part of our post-insurgency recovery strategy, of course we need to plant trees, uh, especially even the, uh, the frontline local governments that were affected by the devastation of the Boko Haram. This is very timely and we are calling on all our people to plant trees especially uh, our schools and other public places should also hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates